Hey folks, Cam Rogers here for the 49ers report. The 53-man roster is official. The cuts have been made. Some interesting ones at that. So I'll go positional group by positional group. We'll start things off with the quarterback position, of course. Jimmy Garoppolo is the franchise. He's the guy. He got the big fat contract throughout the offseason. C.J. Beathard is your backup quarterback. The 49ers kept two QBs on the roster last year. The same can be said in 2018. Nick Mullins looked pretty darn good during the preseason. But there you go, just Beathard as the lone backup there behind Jimmy Garoppolo. Here is the big story. We take a look now at the 49ers running back depth chart. Jarek McKinnon at one, Matt Breida at two, Raheem Mostert at number three, and of course Alfred Morris has made the team as well. No Joe Williams. That is very notable. But the big storyline we are tracking right now, the fear that Jarek McKinnon has torn his ACL. Big, big story here, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously was slated to be the top line guy on that running back depth chart. Slated to have a fantastic season in the Kyle Shanahan offense. That zone blocking scheme, perfect for Jarek McKinnon. Here is what we know. Kyle Shanahan sounded pretty darn nervous when talking about the injury. And McKinnon is slated to have an MRI pretty darn soon to figure out the severity of this injury. But non-contact, made a cut in midair. And something happened with the knee there where Jarek McKinnon could be done for the entire season for the San Francisco 49ers, which means Matt Breida, Alfred Morris, Raheem Mostert, these guys are going to see more responsibility on the ground game this season for San Francisco. Really tough situation there for the backfield. McKinnon, like I said, big fan of him entering this year. I thought he could be a prime breakout candidate from a 49er standpoint and just a general NFL standpoint, but it sure sounds like McKinnon could be done for the year. All right, let's take a look at the wide receivers now. Marquise Goodwin is your wide receiver number one, followed by Pierre Garçon. Trent Taylor is your slot guy. Kendrick Bourne made the roster, Dante Pettis as well, and Richie James. And how about Richie James, the seventh round selection out of Middle Tennessee State, had a really good preseason ranking third in yards only behind Javon Wims and Shelton Gibson. 15 receptions, just a shade under 200 yards, an average of 12.8. And, of course, that one touchdown in that Dallas Cowboys game. I think Richie James is in for a big-time campaign for the 49ers. A lot of depth there at wide receiver, but I think Richie will certainly get his during this season. You're watching the 49ers Report presented by FanDuel. Head to FanDuel.com. Use that promo code chat sports for $20 free when you deposit 5 bucks. So we're talking about $25 in total. FanDuel, the number one daily fantasy app out there. And I challenge you to take me down in my week one fantasy game. Be sure to DM me on Twitter. Hit me up on my Facebook page as well. See if you can take me down because if you do... You win $50. That goes to the first place winner. All right, let's take a look at the tight end depth chart now. George Kittle is the guy at tight end number one. Garrett Selleck at number two. Really interesting tight end depth chart here. I think Kittle, Selleck will kind of share responsibilities, and Wick will be that backup option there. All right, let's talk about the offensive line now, because when you take a look at the offensive line, there are some surprises out there, at least for me, because Jonathan Cooper did not make the roster. And just a few hours ago, honestly, I had Cooper as the starting right guard. Why did I have that? Well, the 49ers signed that guy and paid him $4 million just a couple of months ago. First round selection. So now how about this? Mike Person could be the guy at right guard. That's the buzz out there, particularly from Kyle Shanahan. Maybe he beats out Garnett. We shall see. The rest of the offensive line, not too surprising. Staley, Tomlinson, Richburg, Mike McGlinchey. But right guard was the position we were tracking throughout the last few weeks. And it looks like Mike Person is in the driver's seat. All right, folks, want to give a shout out to Mizzen and Maine. These are comfortable as F shirts, the best damn dress shirt out there. Get one for yourselves. Comfortable.af is indeed the website. 
You guys are watching the 49ers report. I am Cam Rogers going through the 53-man roster here. Let's take a look at the defensive line now. So Eric Armstead, DeForest Buckner, Earl Mitchell, Solomon Thomas, those guys are your starters. You know, interesting name that's not here. Chris Jones, whom the 49ers recently signed on August 22nd, did not make the team. Cassius Marsh is there as a Leo option behind Solomon Thomas. There's Jones and Sheldon Day and Blair as well as some depth options there on that front line for San Francisco. Meanwhile, at the linebacker position, you don't see Ruben Foster because technically he's not on the 53-man roster. He actually got suspended, of course, for two games. So I leave him out. I put Fred Warner in at Mike for now. Brock Coyle is there as well. Dakota Watson could be the Sam linebacker. And Malcolm Smith is probably the surefire starter there among those three. It'll be interesting to see how much work Fred Warner actually gets, but let's talk about Reuben Foster, of course. He will be out for that Minnesota Vikings game and Detroit Lions game, week one and week two, respectively. Those are important games, obviously. Minnesota, a Super Bowl contender, obviously a matchup San Francisco would really love to have just to start off the year really well and at least prove to the rest of the league that this is a contending team. Detroit, not going to be any slouch either this season. They have a pretty darn good defense like the offensive line. Matt Stafford can play well, but he's not a top 10 quarterback. Don't at me. And the run game looks to be pretty solid for the Lions as well. So Foster, of course, his absence, something we will be tracking for those first two games of the regular season. And then we take a look at the secondary now. Richard Sherman, there he is. Akella Witherspoon, Kwan Williams, Jaquaski Tart, and Adrian Colbert. Of course, Jimmy Ward is there. Tarverius Moore, great to see him on the team. DJ Reed really showed out during the preseason. We got him at safety, but he can do a little nickel, has some special teams ability. And one of the big time storylines for the 49ers going into the offseason, the look of the secondary. And as we enter week one against the Minnesota Vikings, are you confident in the secondary right now? Type away here on Facebook Live as well as YouTube. Y for yes, N for no. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. And of course, I read your comments, so type away. I'll be tracking what you guys say about that. But you know how I feel about the secondary. I think it's top 10. I think they're going to ball out this year. And then, of course, the special teams, guys. The big-time storyline here, Brad Pinion, the incumbent punter, he wins the job over Jeff Locke. Robbie Gold is your kicker, and, of course, Nelson is your long snapper. So that is the rundown, the 53-man roster for the San Francisco 49ers in 2018. One little footnote there, Kentavious Street, he's on the non-injury list. And then, of course, Victor Bolden is suspended as well, so I did not talk about him. All right, folks, Cam Rogers here for the 49ers Report. I'll see you.